A total of 1,513 students this afternoon graduated in various academic disciplines from Gulu University, with the majority graduating from the faculties of Education, Humanities, Business and Development Studies. A smaller number also graduated in various science disciplines. This adds to the ever-growing number of graduates that the university has produced since its inception in 2002. Since the university was founded, it started with 286 students. But as we speak today, we have an average student population of 4,500. We have graduated over 13,000 students. As universities continue to produce more graduates every year, President Museveni believes this will broaden the human resource capacity of the country. The graduates who have received the various university awards today are an important addition to the stock of the human resources of our country. Significant focus and investment have been put in the development of the human resource. This has been achieved by improving the health and education sectors. The president, however, cautioned public universities against offering academic courses that don't meet the current needs of society. If you focus, funding is easy. There is no way we can fail to fund science education. But when you bring uh, you bring uh, conflict resolution, <laughs> You bring uh, women studies that you are studying women for three years. Citing the World Health Organization's requirement of one doctor per 500 people, Museveni noted that the medical field still offers a big employment opportunity if fully embraced by institutions of higher learning in the country. In Uganda today, with a population of 42 million, we need 84,000 doctors if we have the money to pay them. But now, I think all the doctors in government and private, they can't be more than 5,000. So you can see there's a lot of room here. On a similar note, the Minister of State for Higher Education, John Chrysostom Muingo, urged public universities to invest more resources into research. You can measure the extent of progress of, no, of nations by how much they spend on research and development. And I want you to invest much more in research than the 8% you are talking about. And the position of our students to become innovative and for relevant the demands in the world of work. Meanwhile, President Museveni revealed that government plans to construct a teaching hospital to boost the training of medical students at Gulu University. He also pledged to contribute 100 million shillings to the Gulu University Staff Savings and Cooperative Society. Nelson Omoya, NTV in Gulu.